What is being a computer science student at Berkeley really like? So first of all, and I just want to get this one out of the way, it's really hard. Hello, my fellow internet explorers, and welcome back to the World Wide Web. So sorry I've been MIA for a few weeks. My excuse is, well, that it's midterm season. So instead of filming videos, I have been grinding out hundreds of practice tests and crying tears of mediocrity until three in the morning. But funny enough, midterm season was actually my inspiration to film this video because never thought I'd say this one. Today, I wanna talk about school. So I am currently a sophomore studying computer science at the University of California, Berkeley. And if you didn't know, computer science at Cal is notorious for being really, really difficult. And despite being a pretty highly ranked program, generally gets a really bad rap on the internet for being super competitive and cutthroat. But as I'm sure your high school English teachers told you many, many times, the internet isn't always a reliable source. And if any of you out there are high schoolers considering coming to Cal for computer science, I really wanna make sure that you aren't missing Informed. So without any further ado, what is being a computer science student at Berkeley really like? So first of all, and I just want to get this one out of the way, it's really hard. It requires a lot of discipline, time management skills, and maturity that was definitely not necessary for me to get through high school. But that being said, it's not at all impossible. And the notion that like it's so competitive and cutthroat here that you can't be collaborative or you can't make friends is a total lie. I just want to get that right out of the way. But I know you all want to know, how on earth can you make it through all four years of this program without literally dropping out? So I've compiled a list of a few tips that have been really helpful for me during my time here at Berkeley so far, and I am gonna share them with you all. Number one, the most important thing you need to do right after you get here to Cal is find a really good study group. The CS department here literally develops assignments under the assumption that you have multiple people to work with. Like they assume that you're gonna be working with a group of people for homeworks, for projects, for studying, for exams, for anything. And so it's really important that you find a group of people, or at least one or two people, that you can consistently work with on all of your assignments. This is also really helpful because a lot of problem sets and projects in the CS department are really tricky, and so it's really helpful to have a few different perspectives that can look for different ways of solving a problem. Also, since Cal is such a large school, it can feel really isolating if you don't have a good group of people to work with. If you have to work on your own for an assignment or a project, the workload here can just seem insurmountable, and trust me, I know this one firsthand. But not to worry, even if you're introverted like myself, there's many ways to go about this. You can join clubs, you can go to dorm activities, you can even just talk to the people next to you in discussion sections or office hours. All it takes is the initiative to really seek those people out, and I strongly encourage you do that. Number two. Speaking of discussion sections and office hours, it's really important that you make good use of discussion sections, office hours, and review sessions. As much as it kills me to say it because I love this school, the lectures in the CS department are often just literally pointless. Man, it really makes me wonder what my tuition is going towards. <laughs> lectures here at Cal, especially in the computer science department, are catered toward that small subset of people that can totally grasp information with just a theory theoretical explanation, which I gotta be 100% honest, is not me and is not 90% of the people at this school. It's definitely still good to go if you can as a form of discipline and just kind of as an introduction to the material, but I find that I get most of my understanding through discussions, through office hours, and through review sessions. They spend much more time going through like practical examples and telling you what you really need to know for the exam, and I find that to be much more useful than a really high level theoretical explanation of all the craziness that goes on in these classes. Number three, start studying for tests early. Now, this is advice that sadly I very rarely follow myself, but I still think is the best way to go about it. One of the biggest differences between exams in Berkeley and exams in high school is that you can't do well on Berkeley tests just by pattern matching. Back in high school, and I was very guilty of this myself, let me be 100% honest, uh, it's really easy to just look at a few practice questions and then apply the same logic of those questions to the questions that you see on the test. But at Cal, no joke, I'm not even kidding, the way they develop exam questions here is like literally like an art form. You need such a deep conceptual understanding to be able to have any chance to do well in these tests. The questions are all unique and there's no way that by looking at past exams you can pattern match your way to a good grade. That's not to say that practice tests aren't helpful because they very much are and I strongly suggest you do them, but the best way to go about it is by starting really early and you know, looking at lecture notes, getting a really good understanding of the material itself before you ever even look at the ways in which it's tested. Number four, do not, and I repeat, do not play the comparison game. 
Playing the comparison game is one of the most dangerous things you could do at this school. From grades to clubs to internships, everything here at the CS department at Cal can be a competition, but only if you let it be. It's really dangerous to start playing the comparison game and looking at what other people are doing because in a sea of super qualified people, looking around at what everyone else is doing is bound to make you feel like God, listen to me. I am horrible. I am underqualified and horrible. This can take a huge toll on your mental health, which if it's something you've never really worried about before, trust me when I say it's something you need to be conscious of here at Berkeley. It's really important that you just focus on what you're doing and doing the best you can and things that interest you and that you really want to be doing instead of looking at that one person you know that happened to get an internship at Google and somehow deciding that you're underachieving. Trust me, if you're even passing your classes here in the CS department at Berkeley, you're you're doing something right and there's nothing to be ashamed of. And finally, number five, schedule time to not be working. And when I say schedule, I literally mean put it in your Google Calendar, have Alexa remind you or some shit. One of the things that's been hardest for me here at Cal is the overwhelming feeling that I need to be being productive at all times. It's a really stressful feeling to have and it honestly leads to more harm than good. Like I end up procrastinating more when I'm thinking and stressed about the fact that I should be doing work. It's unbelievably important that you literally schedule time to just forget about your work and have some fun. One of the great things about Berkeley is there's no shortage of ways to do this. I mean, you're literally right by San Francisco, right by Oakland, go exploring. There's so many cool places to see. You can make YouTube videos like I'm doing right now. This is a really good way for me to relieve stress during a crazy week. You can exercise. You can even have a dedicated meme viewing session. UC Berkeley memes for edgy teens. Shout out to you guys. So anyways, those are all my tips for how to survive computer science classes here at UC Berkeley. And this doesn't just have to apply to Berkeley. It can apply to really any difficult college program. And I hope if any of you are in college or you're going into college soon, that you keep some of these tips in mind whenever times get tough and you find yourself being really stressed. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the Internet Explorer family, you can do so by clicking subscribe right down there. So best of luck on all your cyberspace adventures. And until next time, peace out.